We, okay, there we go. That's what I want to see. Okay, so... We're on a way to the Great Foot now. So now we put in the Disc 1. Okay. That's really stupid. You need to have a Disc 2. You know what? This is IBM, though. I'm not going to... Not gonna be surprised. I can't be. Oh, so now I think this is VGA. Let's take a look. Yeah, we're in VGA now, so we won't have many problems with display after this. Yeah, I've never done that. Oh, we switched back to DOS. <laughs> it. Yeah, the capture card thinks this is 640 by 13. That is obviously incorrect, but let me, might be 4 by 3 now? <laughs> Shit. Hmm. Nope. Maybe let's try 1 to 1. It was 3 2, wasn't it? No. Yeah. No, I shit me. Well, hopefully we load back. This is, I've never actually had something take this long to get into this. Three, three, two. Oh. Come on, three, two. Yeah, okay, there we go. So let's, let's just do what most people would have done at the time, do the easy installation. That sounds like the best thing to do here. Okay, so now we're on to disc two already. Uh, there's a lot of these discs in them, not in order. I'm gonna end up like missing. Oh, there it is. So, all it does is let's try to put these in order. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Oh, I dropped a lot of frames when you restart that. Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess it was just IBM's answer to that. Because most, most of the PS2s came with it. Yeah, it does. Okay, so we got a serial type device. in the BIOS we're going to use off off of uh, a 486 I don't remember I think that's 16 megs of RAM oh and here we go we're finally starting the interesting thing if you notice this operating system actually uses DLL so the similarities are very close to each other yes that use the same basic thing yeah like this is it's you know it's a it's a piece of history that we never got to experience I don't think most people really ever got to experience this fucking OS, but... Um, from what I kind of... That's a weird file format or something. Uh, from what I remember when I read up on this shit, it was mostly... Like... Business. Who used this. Because it was stable. And this was, you know, around the time of Windows NT, but... Windows NT probably was more expensive at the time, and I think it used a lot more resources. I don't know about the resources. Yes. 
for computers that so like the system requirements as said for this is this is version three just to let you know like this is os2 version three or as it says in the box os2 warp but the system requirements as said on the side is in the, a 386 sx and it needs four megs of ram 35 to 55 of hard disk space obviously a, a diskette drive obviously it needs vga and obviously it needs a mouse and it says multimedia ready system for sound so i mean four megs of ram is not that bad i don't know what the requirements for nt3.1 were i'm gonna look that up really quick but i know they were for the time they were kind of up there so let's see yeah so yeah so you needed a 386 which that was fine but you needed 12 megs of memory so that was a pretty high thing there so let's do disk 3 oh shit I yep just drop the disks okay so hold on a second here All right, I'm taking over because I killed Brandon. We're copying Diskette 3, and I don't know that much about OS 2, but I know that you can run Synchronet BBS on it. So that's what we're going to do. I don't know if we're going to do that. I don't think so. It's not worth it. We're sitting here waiting as I twiddle the Microsoft pill style mouse and use a gigantic trackball by Kensington, the expert mouse. Installing to an IBM PS2 on the night before a huge storm is going to sweep Western Washington. So this is what we do to prepare for a power outage that may last for more than one day. That will probably happen. Starting up this beautiful background music composed by some asshole at uh, Konami. I don't know. I forget. OS2 Warp is capable of running DOS and Windows 3.1 programs, except it's a much nicer interface from what I can see. The box came with uh, the manual and a book titled Sources and Solutions, Second Edition, Fall slash Winter 1994. Let's take a look at it while we wait for Diskette 3 to copy. Well, this is, in case you couldn't figure it out, it's a fucking catalog. <laughs> it's a disguised catalog. And uh, it's advertising all kinds of software in kind of a really cool way, geared mostly toward businesses, such as Data Manager and General Ledger for OS2. What else do we have here? Oh god, time to insert diskette 4. Hang on, I have to fucking put the fucking advertisement book down. And take this shit out. Fuck. Alright. Here we go. Yeah, alright, let's pick this shit back up. Fuck. Okay. We got the source for hardware software publications services and courseware solutions. This is a thick book. It's almost as thick as the fucking manual. 
Oh god. This page smells. Holy shit. It smells. What the fuck? No, the- the- yeah. <laughs> it smells. This shit's new. This is brand new. Like, this person barely used this shit. We found this at Goodwill for like $12. No one was gonna pick this shit up. Who's gonna pick up OS2? Us. We're the only people. Introducing Lotus Smart Suite 1.1 for OS2. Looks like a fucking... Like a page maker, like whatever that shit's called. Oh, good. Alright. Yeah, we have a noise gate now so you don't hear our stupid background noise when we're not talking. Damn, we got Finest Hour 5.1, project management software for planning and controlling high-intensity short-duration projects such as turnarounds, shutdowns, outages, and line changeovers. That sounds like so much fucking fun. It costs $4,000. Monte Carlo 2.0. Monte Carlo is risk analysis and simulation software designed to support decision making in large scale projects. $5,000. What else do we got? The SAS system. The SAS system is a modular, integrated, and hardware independent system. Oh, wait, there's no price, it's not worth reading. Alright, well, we got Seros Mezzanine. Oh, that also doesn't have a price. Fuck you. Oh shit. I'm gonna insert disc at 5. You know what that fucking beat means. Alright. Let's go. Better than ever. The award winning OS2 now has even more features. A new look and feel. Improved performance. Support for more hardware. Your system will run smoother so you can work better. What do you mean? What bonus? Oh, oh yeah! That's- it's on the box. The bonus pack- Bonus pack includes a smarter set of applications that gets you using the power of OS2. I don't fucking know- I, you know what? I'll bet it's on the discs. It's just in here. Like, you, it, it installs with it. Goes up to fucking disc, like, 13. Holy fuck! Not so bad. Though. It's installing pretty quick. I'm impressed. We got SAS Share Software for concurrent access to data. SAS Toolkit, a set of tools for user written procedures. We got Progistics Order Tracking and Progistics Pack Verification Station. This is really businessy. Like, this is business to business advertising. It's fucking real. Your doorway to a work group. Man. Use Watchit to quickly and easily improve performance and anticipate capacity problems on your IBM LAN server network. Watchit lets you analyze mean response times, byte trans bytes transferred, print jobs, big buffer and request buffer allocations, as well as users logged on and resources shared. This shit is like modern. Oh god, here we go. Disk 6 is almost here. Come on. Yeah, there we go. You know, the only thing I'm gonna miss about installing- or er, yeah, about the installation process is the beep. Because that's the highlight. That's what we're waiting for. That beautiful beep. A beep at a tone that you've never heard. This is the OS2. Thanks, IBM. Thank you for this experience. IBM OS2 2.1. You see, that's bullshit because we don't have 2.1. We have 3. We have warp. <laughs> I don't know why it's in this book. They're fucking assholes. Unite 2.0 is a document and color imaging management solution designed to reduce paper handling requirements. It's $2,500 and up. Oh shit. Get the most out of OS2. Check out the easy to use documentation. The book gives tips and techniques, a guided tour of the desktop, and troubleshooting information. After installation is complete, a wealth of online information at your fingertips. Th this shit was internet connected. There were huge networks. 
Look, look at this. Let's contact Da Vinci Systems at 4200 Six Forks Road, Suite 200 in Raleigh, North Carolina. What? Well, they better, because I don't want a hub. I don't need collisions in my network. I need a fucking turn-by-turn -turn ring. I need my fucking computer to hold a virtual token when it's ready. Fuck. My anus. Still better than a hub. God. Giant systems. Smart forms for Windows. Enterprise technology. Where's the- where are the prices? Multi-links with TRN template- oh shit! The beep. Weird. But you know what? That's the experience. That's OS2. It's not simple, but it's simple enough. Work faster and smarter. If you're no, who was the copywriter who wrote this shit? If you're on a network and want to share information with your colleagues, be sure to check out the fastest server available, LAN server from IBM. This, I mean, you know, a lot of this sounds really modern. Like, I feel like the, the technology has upgraded, but it hasn't changed. I'm looking, just looking, well, yeah, but looking at all of this, it's the same shit as what you have today, it's just, like, what you have today is, is just an upgrade from back then, it's not, they already had it down for the most part. Barcode anywhere for OS2. Oh my god, look at this ad. This fucking font, it's like the Superman font or something, no. Is that Batman? <laughs> oh yeah, it's like a generic, like, TV font or something. Yeah. Barcode anywhere for automatic document indexing solutions. I almost went into copywriting, it would have been. Yeah. Right backs. Where are these where are the prices? I'm looking I'm trying to look for premium prices. There we go. IBM oh shit. Let's fucking Put in diskette one again. What does? How does it keep breaking? Stop recording, obviously. All right, we're back. IBM Fax Router 2 version 2.0. It's an OS2 LAN-based facsimile solution providing the capability to send, receive, store, display, distribute, print, and delete faxes from a user's OS2 or Windows workstation. See, this is integrated, it's both Windows and OS2, and that's the advantage you get when you install OS2. Uh-huh. Oh, that's kind of weird. Are you overwriting Windows? Okay, then you're good. Yeah, because in this you could have, you could do that, it was... Microsoft Windows version 3.1 or 3.11 is required for Windows application support. That's neat. That's cool. It's, it's like, imagine if you could install Linux and just have Windows installed alongside it. But this is so similar, it's like React OS on the top. Plus the bonus pack includes IBM Information Superhighway, with internet connection for OS2, CompuServe Information Manager for OS2, and HyperAccess Lite for OS2. With IBM Person to Person for OS2, Multimedia Viewer, and Video In. 
Also included is IBM Works with word processor, spreadsheet charting, database report writer, and personal information manager, alongside Fax Works for OS2 and system information tool. All of that with the bonus pack. Oh shit. Uh, remove the diskette from drive A and Weird, but all right. Whoops. All right, we're going into uncharted territory. There is no diskette. There's absolutely none. We're starting OS2. We're still, we've still got about eight more to go. So fucking stay tuned. GUI. This is this is the midway point. We've got this beautifully colored background. It's like someone puked on the sky. Oh shit. We're ready. Else isn't going yet. Oh god. Yeah, the mouse doesn't work. <laughs> Rest in peace. It was a PS2. Detect. Well, here's the problem. You have a serial mouse and it says there's no serial support installed. You install support. Why not? Now choose the map. Mm hmm Oh shit. It's a different beep now. We're we're at a new experience today. A new day. OS two. Oh my god, this is pro. You never got this in fucking Windows. They just fucking advertise the fuck out of it to you. They, you know, with OS 2, another advantage is that they don't advertise it back to you that much when you're installing it. Windows fucking shills itself. OS 2 just gives you the OS. And you can read the book if you want the advertisements, but you don't have to. I am. It smells good. It smells like ink. This is strange IBM OS2 ink. Emulation beyond expectation. But like, what is it emulating? With IBM Personal Communications 30, 3270 version 3.1, you can have it all and more. It's the most fully functional cost-effective cost emulator on the market. It even helps mask the complexity of your applications. Let me see. Running a native DOS or Windows application, IBM PC 3270 does more than merely allow PCs to emulate IBM 3270 display terminals. Whatever. Fuck this thing, it's advertising. Very good advertising. I'm installing OS2 and that's all I care about. It's ins Did you see that? There are midis. Oh my god. Yeah. Soundblast.dll. Wang.lev. <laughs> Bach.mid. Was this is not as much the Wild West as computers were back in the day because this is business solution. 
this is professional software. You can't handle it. If you think I'm, I can handle this, I can't. Because OS2 is blowing me away. This is the nicest installation I've ever seen. Like, I'm, I'm not kidding, this is actually really cool. Wait. Oh. Sold by eBay. The terms PayPal. $30 for a 170 megabyte IDE hard drive. God. Plus 15 for the freight. Returns are subject. Oh shit, we got the beep. Gotta stop everything we're doing to address the beep. We're past the midway point now. bad at putting a fucking floppy in, but it must be because I'm I'm shaking at the prospect of getting to know OS2. Yeah, I do too. There's nothing like it. This was never seen again. Installers today are boring. They they hold your hand. This 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 gives you the information, but it presents it in a good way. That's difficult to do, and IBM nailed it. They they got it right. They did it well. I got a computer that was to get, it was going to have Windows 95 on it. And I was so pissed because my dad and my uncle, they, they said that we couldn't install it yet because we didn't have an internal CD drive. And having installed an OS more than once now using floppy drives, using floppy disks, I don't see why it was that big of a fucking deal, because we could have just installed it with floppy disks. They told me that there would have been like 40 floppies to install Windows 95. I was so mad. I don't think I could sleep that night. The next day we got an internal disk drive. We installed Windows 95 and that was my first legit well, not really. That was like my second... No, I don't remember. Yeah, that was my first computer. Then we got Mac and iMac. Tangerine with OS 9. Fuck! Discat 9 is coming. It's close. It's going in. It's taking a while though. But it's close. Alright, here we go. I'm going to talk about it. OS 2 Warp is the perfect OS for using your Gravis gamepad with only four buttons and a D-pad and nothing else. Don't fret though, the Gravis gamepad will hold you through. It has a switch on the top, I don't know what the fuck it's for. It's weird. I don't know, um, I think having the buttons dip into the controller isn't a very good idea. But it feels solid. Great D-pad. Love it. I especially love the hole in the middle of the D-pad. 
for screwing in a joystick that really probably made it. Gravis started it all. Don't think we did. See, the, the cool thing about Gameport is that it feels like what it says it is. USB is USB. And I have to insert diskette 10. Halfway through the second half, which means we're three quarters of the way through. I think that's how that works. I have a pile of diskettes laid out in front of me. And a nice Apple monitor made by Trinitron, Sony Trinitron. We use only the best hardware at the Heen House. Progress bar could keep me entertained for days on end. What did you do? Oh shit. Yeah, and and I hate it because it's like thick. It's like the one that I have, and I I don't like that one because it's hard to plug in. Yeah, I know that. Nice thing about it. All right, we're halfway through Discat Ten, and we got UL. You got Mondo DLL and Old Court DLL and codes. Oh shit, this is flying. Oh my god. It's efficient, stable, runs all your favorite programs. What else could you want? OS 2. You don't want anything else. People still use it to this day. They are. And they're doing it. They're, they're running their games. They're running butterful.bump, earns.bmp, Delft.bmp, and it's time for Diskette 11. It never gets old here with OS 2. This doesn't. We're almost there. We've got three diskettes left. Here's the first. This, as I fuck this up. TutorMRI.dll. You see, with OS 2, you, you have your very own MRI machine. I can't believe it. Can you? You believe any of this shit? All right. Disc number 11 is taking its sweet time, but you gotta make sure you have tutorial.hlp. All of this. This is what you need for OS 2. No PC should be without it. That's what they meant. That's what they wanted. MS-DOS 5 ain't got shit on me. Oh man, we got Klondike.exe. We got fucking games. Card games. 
this good 11 is, is full, it's jam-packed. OS2 chess. Windows did not come with chess. I don't think that's pool. Oh, that's a nice exe file. No, it came with a pool.bmp, but I thought it for a second it might have been something to do with a pool game. This comes with chess. Windows didn't come with chess. Illegal.ptr. Ah, these are all background patterns, I think. Yeah, time for a diskette 12, the second to last. We're nearing the end of our OS2 installation adventure, but nearing the beginning of, of our exploration of this great and forgotten OS. Installing OS2 Warp to our compact tower. One of the perfect PCs. For having an ancient, forgotten, but well respected OS. Well, not very well respected if it's been forgotten, but you get the idea. OS2 is full of programs like mem.exe and vmono.sys and fsaccess.exe. vmouse.sys, which we won't need because the mouse is obviously not going to work, nor is it needed. Second to last disc in our OS2 installation bullshit. He almost knocked it over. Yeah, this is the same type of cable as the the one that I have. Fucking horrible and stiff, I no. So now we have this going on here. Mm. It's a little laggy still, but I wonder if I can just make it go like this. Make that one look at that one and it will Yeah, okay. I made it a little bit better. Alright, so, so this is a live view. So with the hardware. Why don't we show off the box here? All right. Oh, well, actually, let's, let's get that first. All right. Let's do this right. Okay, here. Show off. So let's show off the box. Here we go. This is the box. Bit of stuff with the bonus pack. OS2 warp. There's the price. Great price. Collectibles. Collectibles. <laughs> Goodwill. Mm, it's, these are the discs, so. Why don't you explain these discs? Well, you have from 1 to 13, and the last one is inside the computer. And in order to begin the installation, you need disc zero. The installation disk. So we're 
tried to start the installation by putting in disk 1, and we didn't see the installation disk yet. But it's installing alongside Windows 3.1. It's been going decently fast, and uh, this is what we've gotten done already. So we're on the very last one, it's almost finished. It's in there. Oh, shit. We, we got something. We await the completion of our OS2 warp installation, version 3 of OS2. We await it with bated breath. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Alright, so... I don't know why he's asking for the printer disk yet, but... Printer driver disk at 1 into drive A. There, switch over. Alright. So I'm gonna take out disk 13. Looks like we have a hidden Oops, step here. We've gotta put disk one back in. It might be installing the serial driver. I don't Oh wait. Wait a minute. Printer, what is... Oh shit, I didn't see, see that. that. Yeah, there's an extra pile of discs. Fuck, there, there are, are more discs. discs. This, this is, is a, a twist. twist. We're, 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 we're fucking, fucking like... Oh my god. We, we got, got a fucking... Okay, fucking, okay printer drive, drive disc at one. Here we go. go. We're... Alright. Oh shit. Alright, it installed driver diskette one. Now we're just display driver diskette one. Here we go. Where the fuck, fuck is, is it? It's printer two. It's display, display three. three. Here, Here we, we go. go. Display, display one. one. Alright. What are you doing? Oh, I see. We're, we we got to do some rogue diskette installation here because I did not see this. I wasn't prepared. I had no idea, but we have a lot of driver diskettes. IBM VGA 32.dll Printer driver 1, 2, Display driver, three, four, I think this one's two, yeah, display two, hang on, I don't, is this open, yeah, no, yeah, oh, here we go, insert windows, diskette, all right, I'm right here, We've been throwing a curveball. Hang on. There's more. Three. Blank. We do. They're all black. All right, we found disc one. No, we found three and four. We've been throwing a fucking curveball here at the Heen House. Try and install windows alongside. Where? 
Alright, we found the box. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Alright, disc 1. Windows 3.1. Is this 1.1? One, one, or just... Alright, what is this? Display driver 1? Okay. Now we got disc 1 set up. I think this will work. Uh, now it needs number six. Here we, we go. go. Four, five, that's, that's the, the very, very last, last one. one. So, shit. shit. Alright. OS2 is not gonna, gonna fucking beat us today. today. It's gonna beat him and eat him. Oh shit. Huh? All right. Monster Truck Madness is going in. See, this is good. It's testing the hardware. Windows didn't do this. It never has. Right. We're, uh, doing the hardware testing for the OS, helping it along here as it tries to figure out its new life inside this strange compact. We're, uh, we're just waiting for this to finish testing its new it's windows. Not anymore. It's new for, for this. Oh, no, this is new now. It's OS 2. Yeah. Oh, OS 2 setup and installation is complete. Remove the diskette from drive A. You'll need to shut down and restart this. Oh. Put this back. No, I did it. Yeah, I hit the button. Okay, thanks Monster Truck Madness, you were useful for something. OS2 warp is ready. Windows and the camera are not. So we're picking everything up because everything just got blown over by the windstorm. I'm, I'm gonna put the camera, or you can take it. All right. Oh. All right. Here we go. We're about, about to do a full and real exploration of OS2 work. So the shutdown screen is a lot nicer. But it's still a shut screen. Still the era of shit. But it's good shit. This is the kind of shit you want. Yeah, that might be the mouse. It's not. Well, it could be. Oh, it is the cursor. Damn 
damn it. God damn it. Why? Ah. Uh. Sure. All right. Can you actually I'm just? Wasted. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know what the fuck that was. Oh, it's like running shit. I'm putting away discuts. Begin our bullshit. Okay, there's one more bag. I have no idea if this is in the right order, and I don't care. But I don't care. Put it back here. I don't need this right now. Put it put away. Put it back in the box. I knew that would happen. Oh. Okay. Back to where you fucking belong. You have to uh, stack them. Again for a long time. Okay, put this away. Down here, I guess. Alright. Uh. Yeah, works just like Windows and everything else. Learn how to use the mouse, press the spacebar, bypass using the mouse, and begin the tutorial. The mouse doesn't work. Oh my god. We have a mouse. Jesus Christ. That that was fucking stupid. The, this computer like it is not my fault because I did not build this computer at all, so uh, I cannot yeah. be blamed for you its fault. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you were. No. Yeah. I was actually just, like, thinking this is where it goes, doesn't it? So. Oh, we got, we got an operating system that fully works. It's... Sometimes I installed it. It doesn't have Windows. It doesn't have Windows. Yeah, that's. Where the fuck were those games at? 
there. Oh, why the fuck are they in here? I'm not gonna have any sound, of course, because, well, the sound blaster's pissed off that I have that in there, so we might be kind of fucked. Yeah, so this is, like, OST strength, is that you can literally just... I mean, it even, it's left me off where I was last. Like, I mean, that's how... Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Can we salvage this? Might be good, yeah. I wanna fuck this level up like I always do. A little it's not hard in a sense, but it's easy to fuck it up. But yeah, this is um, the strength of this operating system. Oh, yeah, see, I, well, I can't do it. But yeah, that's, it works. That was, I mean, it's. We got Taipei. This is a game that you play when you want to waste a fuck ton of time. I don't know why this keeps... Oh. Networking. Okay, so. This is Taipei. It's a game. They'll make you mad because you don't know which tiles are accessible and which are not. You know, like these ones? Yeah. You know, they, these two. Okay. But, you know, now... Oh, well, there's these two. Oh, see? See this shit? What, what, what the fuck is that? It's not free. Yeah. You know, I, I hate- I see, look at this! What, what the fuck?! How is that not free? What the fuck?! Like, this- this game sucks. A lot. Now I can do it. Is there a one anywhere? No, there's not. So, you know. I'm just... I, you know, shit. There, is there another three? Yep, what? Now I can do these two. You can lose this game, by the way. Because you, you will end up without any chances to fix anything. That's real dumb when that happens. I got these two jackasses. Oh, I can't do that jackass, though. These two jackasses. We can do him now. Oh, there's a two. We can do those two. Yeah, so that's that's that. Uh, here, let's boot up some native software. So, you know, I really do like the interface for this OS. So it's it's different. This is kind of like a dock, and I like that. It's kind of No, I have no idea how to play chess. So I'm just gonna... Oh. The computer did it too. Oh. What? Oh. oh I'm gonna get fucked. Play chess, can you? Oh, what do you mean print? Fuck you, print. This is basically the same exact thing that we just played. Um, you know, except this this actually looks shittier though. <laughs> kind of like the the look of the other one. And I don't know what the fuck I'm doing now. What? How do you? Oh, I yeah, got some effects at least. You know, you can 
get fucked. Yeah. See, at least this one doesn't bug you. This one, this one's just like you know. Down there. A nice little list. Kind of like. Uh... Oh shit. Oh, that's kind of like nice, easy. I'm just gonna put a disc in there to get shut up. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of cool. You can just have a instant access to your drive there. That would have been useful. Because of the help thing, you know. Same, you know. A little lock up. Yeah, so you can. Oh. Why do you. Okay. That looked bad. Oh, that's kind of cool. How do you get. Oh, there it is. Probably. Oh. Oh, you just put in the password. Weird, but whatever. It does that, like it just, it does it, but then it comes back and it's fine, I don't get it. Uh, oh, yeah. This is, I, I like this OS so far, now the fucking mouse works, you know, like. <laughs> oh yeah, it's very much more like 3. Point, but the, you know, we don't, we have version 3, there's a version 4, which I'm sure looks completely different than this. Of course. <laughs> wow. Interesting. Oh. Yeah, it's a bunch of shit. Not yeah, movies. Macaw. This is a 486. Let's see. Oh, it's a small file, so. Oh, oh that's. My God. I don't. That might be our fault here because we're using. We don't have any fucking drivers for our video, and I have no idea if we're gonna find any. Because this is like a weird company who makes this fucking video card. I would like there to be some, but I'm, I'm guessing this is what their. their, uh. Oh. Okay. I guess maybe you drag. Like, let's, let's make a file, I guess. Like, on the desktop, I guess. How you do that, I don't know. <laughs> I guess you can't. Let's just put it in C and name it fuck. Oh wait, no, there's desktop right there. Oh shit. Hopefully it uses the same. Yeah, it does. Fuck. Okay, so now we should have fuck on our desktop. And there it is. So, oh. Well, that's a, that's a big one. You can't drag files. Uh-huh. Okay. This is a that that's kind of dumb. I need an interface for that. Well, I guess I just I okay. Well, you know, I, I don't know what I'm doing yet. I'm not gonna be that big of a dick yet. There is this. I yeah, if you can, it's well I mean select well, let's do the tutorial. I guess that's I'm just not used to it, so that that's not gonna not gonna make me do that. So let's try it again, I guess. In modern offices, you do both. Option. Just back on the desktop. It's weird that the desktop does not update immediately. So. 
that's kind of, it's like a vector. Yeah, so, okay. So that is what it does. Uh, yeah, I have music on the stream. Um, so, I don't know, like, I actually, I think this could have been something, you know? I, I, I maybe would like to maybe try to make a small little dumbass. So yeah, that was okay. So let's 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 go get a. Go. Yeah, you oh, can. So shit. you can. Nice. If you needed direct access to Chip's challenge for some jackass reason, you could uh, definitely do that really easily. So. And obviously, I think you can put a folder there. Maybe that's a folder or something. Like maybe I forgot already. No, must be might certain. Might be certain things that. Oh, actually, yeah, you're right. Shit, let's try that. No, that. Well, okay, maybe I got to do it to the, not the icon. The but, yeah, because it's just gonna. Okay, yeah, so that's that's cool. So wow, that's if it's something, nice. you know, like you could have maybe uh, like the word processor and then yeah. like Excel there or something like that, that's that's pretty neat. I think you can move this, yes. You, you, you can totally move it. So. Oh, there's something. Oh. Oh. Oh, funny. I guess if that's you accidentally fucking close it or something. But, I mean, yeah, like this is... I've wow, never used this before, so really it's, nice as, as we said before, I keep saying that, but it's, really fun. it's, really it's things that you don't, you know, we've been in a Windows world for 30 years, almost. Mm -hmm. Okay, not that long, like 25 years, pretty much, 26. 